My name is Dr. Maya Hillman. I'm a social scientist and have spent more than 50 years of my life identifying dangerous societal trends and advising policymakers on how to make the world a better place to live in. I am 87 years old and this is the last and most important advice I will ever give. I have alarming information to share with you. Nothing, but nothing is more urgent. My generation is responsible for the most devastating predicament that our world has ever faced. I'm deeply sorry to tell you that your generation, young people, is going to have to cope with the catastrophic consequences. Climate change is now out of control and its disastrous outcomes are exponential and irreversible. A growing proportion of the world's population is already experiencing degraded lives. Societal chaos is approaching and the demise of most wildlife species is well underway. The people in charge, elected government officials, are not prepared to deal with the nightmare scenario that is unfolding. They have no plans to ensure your future and that of the planet. I'm going to explain how climate change happens. For millions of years, the sun has been heating the planet through the atmosphere. The Earth absorbs the solar radiation and reflects some of it back into space. Climate change occurs when the volume of emitted carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases exceeds the safe capacity of the global atmosphere. More of the solar radiation gets trapped instead of naturally dispersing. It's like a blanket and causes our planet to warm. Most of the detrimental gases have an impact for well into the future. Their ever-increasing concentration is the result of the continuing burning of fossil fuels and deforestation, making the planet hotter and hotter. More emissions are released each day. It is the concentration of emissions which causes climate change. The problem will not be solved by reducing the emissions, only by stopping using them. There is no other way. There are two major sources of climate change. The first, and by far the largest, is the burning of coal, gas and oil, the world's major sources of energy. Over 70% of emissions that are causing climate change stem from about 100 companies extracting these fossil fuels. The second source of climate change comes from the destruction of forests. When trees are burned, they release the carbon dioxide stored in them. This is mainly caused by companies who clear forests to make way for agriculture and use wood for everyday production. We can already see the consequences of flagrantly ignoring what is happening, and they are getting worse and worse. Climate change is at present causing unprecedented floods, landslides, droughts, hurricanes and wildfires. The world's ice caps are rapidly melting and glaciers are receding. Sea levels are rising and heavily populated areas are going underwater. Biodiversity is dramatically in decline. Disease is spreading and the availability of food and water for the world's population is at increasing risk. These problems will intensify. People will fight and kill each other as they struggle for basic survival. Many thousands of refugees are already trying to escape to countries so far spared the harshest impacts of climate change. The number of refugees will increase dramatically in your lifetimes if action is not taken immediately. Military leaders across the globe have been warning governments for many years that there will be millions of migrating refugees who will pose the greatest security risk ever known to humanity. Few countries are likely to welcome such a scale of movement and even fewer will be able to pay the astronomical costs entailed. If fossil fuels and the burning of forests are ruining the planet, why don't the guilty companies just stop? We are all dependent on the use of fossil fuels and production systems that result in deforestation. 
we are all part of the problem because we use the products causing climate change. To stop using them will be extremely difficult and painful. Corporations and the politicians say it will cost too much to make the changes quickly, but they're not telling you that the actual cost to our global society will be substantially greater if we don't make the right changes now. Laws allow corporations to continue with business as usual, and the lawmakers are frequently financially supported by these companies. The corporations and the politicians are blinded by greed and power, and they have no plans to stop. Your generation is going to suffer greatly because elected officials have not and will not protect you. Instead, they are protecting the big companies which are causing the pollution and funding their deliberately misleading campaigns. You can change this. If you're old enough, join the rebellion calling for immediate action. Vote out all politicians who are not committed to stopping the factors causing climate change and not committed to making decisions in the broad, long-term public interest. Vote in politicians who will determinedly stop the use of fossil fuels and commit themselves to suspending the destruction of forests. If you are not old enough, Follow Greta's lead, Scream for Life. Now is the time for a young person's revolution. Let your voices be heard. Continue your demonstrations. Speak to your parents and, where necessary, hold them accountable. Demand that when they vote, they vote for your future. It's easy to do and beyond reckless if they don't. Contact your politicians and hold them responsible for our current predicament. The power of change is in your hands.